365 days, 365 messages God has in store for us. You've got mail from God, written by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Come and join us. Let us see what God has in store for us today. Today is August 30th, 2022. And the title of our devotional is, A New Heaven and a New Earth. The scripture reading can be found in Revelations chapter 21, verses 1 and 2. And it says, Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also there was no sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. In the August 19, 1999 edition of the Sun's newspaper, Pope John Paul II began a debate by saying that heaven is not a physical place, that paradise is not what we think, and that God is not an old man with a white beard, but a supreme being with male and female qualities, and that there's no pearly gates. If a religious leader of his caliber is confused about heaven, what can we expect of others? That's why there are so many people, so many ideas, so many different answers, and so many people confused about heaven. All this happens because Satan aims to keep the entire human race completely away from this wonderful provision that God has prepared for human beings. God will give us a new earth a perfect world with redeemed people, just as the earth was when our first parents were created. It sounds too good to be true. There we'll be able to meet our loved ones again. There we'll be able to enjoy the Lord's companionship and learn about the science of salvation throughout eternity. As the Apostle John said, we will be kings with Christ. How does this news make you feel? I don't know about you, but I want that day to come soon. Heaven is real, and God is preparing it for you and me. Dear friend, if there is one thing our world needs, it's hope. But not a passing hope like the ones based on money, politicians, or empty promises that no human being can fulfill. No, the hope our world needs is the one that God can give. And you know what? God has chosen you to be his messenger, to be the emissary of the good news that heaven is real and available to all who accept Christ as their personal savior. Today, God says to you, there is a heaven prepared for you and for all who accept my son. Are you going? Amen.